Hello YouTube and welcome back to another alternate history video and today I got the 2000 presidential election once again. Now this time I got it between Democrat Al Gore still but I got the Republican as Colin Powell who was the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff in the H.W. Bush administration and he was also the first African American Secretary of State in the, in the W. Bush administration, the son that is. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said I got him as a nominee here, if he ran in 2000, I have a little background on him. Uh, I already said what offices he held, but like I said, he did all his offices. And there was also speculation four years earlier that he was actually possibly going to run for president against Bill Clinton at the time, 1996. And there was actually polls showing that he would have beat Clinton pretty, uh, pretty comfortably, actually, because actually a lot of bride, excuse me, broad support. He had a lot of bipartisan support with Republicans and Democrats and a lot of independents that would have gone to his side because of his military experience and his moderate views like pro-choice on abortion and things like that. And like I said, this is involvement in military matters being a general uh, would have earned him a lot of support according to polls in 1996, as you see and on Wikipedia here in this article. It says Powell's experience in military matters made him a very popular figure with both American political parties. Many Democrats admired his moderate stance on military matters, while many Republicans saw him as a great asset associated with his successes of past Republican president administrations. Put forth as a potential Democratic vice president nominee in the 1992 election or even potentially replacing Vice President Dan Quayle as a Republican vice presidential nominee. Powell eventually declared himself a Republican and began to campaign for Republican candidates in 1995. He was touted as a possible opponent of Clinton in the 1996 election, as I mentioned, possibly capitalizing on a split conservative vote in Iowa and even lead New Hampshire polls for the GOP nomination. A Powell decline signed a lack of passion for politics. Powell defeated Clinton 50 to 38 in a hypothetical matchup proposed to voters in the exit polls conducted on election day. Despite not standing in the race, Powell won the Republican New Hampshire vice presidential primary on write in votes. So, as you see there, as I explained, uh, if he had possibly run Powell in 96, he possibly could have beat Clinton according to an exit poll. And I think that's very interesting. And I could see why, as I explained, because he was a very popular military general. and like I said, I had moderate stances on military matters and was pro-choice and things like that. Um, kind of liberal views on social issues, but more moderate to conservative on other issues. It was kind of like a centrist, maybe. And like I say, he definitely pulled support from both parties and independents, things like that. So again, into this alternate scenario, like I said, I got him as a Republican nominee. If he decided to run in 2000, I still got Al Gore as a Democrat, the vice president. So I think this will definitely be an interesting one. And just according to what I read there with Powell, if he ran 96, defeating Clinton by a comfortable margin like that, I can definitely say I'm doing great in this scenario. Like I said, having a lot of bipartisan support, I think a lot of Republicans, Democrats, and independents were united around him and being in the military kind of like Eisenhower. I think it would have been pretty close to maybe an Eisenhower type margin if he ran in this election and won it. But uh, getting into it, uh, I think California would definitely get closer. But I think uh, Gore would have still won it, just being a large state in the Bay Area. But I think Colin would have definitely uh, done pretty good here. I can maybe say being a lean for Gore since he won about pretty comfortable margin over Bush. Uh, he also won Washington. I think that was pretty likely. I'm going to check the margin, though. So it was five points. And because of that, I could possibly see Powell flipping it because, like I said, he has a moderate appeal on social issues. And because of it being kind of close when Gore won it, I could actually see Powell flipping it possibly in a tilt margin. I could kind of see it still going either way, but I just think Powell would be such a great candidate, in my opinion. Because like I said, reading that article where it said if he could possibly defeat Clinton in a matchup in 96, I think it would have carried on over to 2000 if he had ran. I think it could have done very well. And so I could see him flipping Washington in this scenario. And same with Oregon. Bush actually almost won Oregon. 
in the actual scenario, but it was very close, less than 1% that Gore won about it. Because, like I said, a moderate sport that Powell would have in that bipartisan sport, I, th- I could say I'm flipping Oregon in this scenario. Uh, I think I'd definitely take the Mountain West here, solidly Idaho, Wyoming, uh, Montana. I think it would be pretty safe to likely. Same with Utah, traditional Republican states. Uh, Alaska, too. And state like Oklahoma, I think Texas. Even though Powell was, like I said, pro-choice, uh, I could maybe say I'm regressing here in the South, but I think uh, the South would still vote for him, definitely over Gore, since he is a Republican in this scenario. And like I said, him being in the military could still do pretty well in these states. Because I could definitely, like I was saying, I could see him being close to maybe like an Eisenhower, where he could have broad bipartisan appeal. Uh, I think it would have been Kansas. Nebraska, the first, second, and third, I think would be pretty safe for him. Uh, the Dakotas as well. Uh, I think Al Gore would still take Hawaii, but I could say that maybe even narrowing up because I think in 2004, when Bush went to Hawaii, it was only about eight points over Kerry. And because, like I said, of Powell's broad support, I could say that maybe getting a little closer. But I think it would still be pretty likely for Gore since it has been a Democratic stronghold. Uh, Illinois, I could definitely see getting closer. I think uh, Gore won a pretty solid. Uh, I look at the exact margin. All right, so let's look at this. As you see, there is 54 42, so a little over 10 points. Uh, because of Cook County, I could still see Gore pulling it out, but I could definitely see Powell doing good, like in the collar counties around Cook County and Chicago. But because of the margin that Gore won about, and because of Cook County itself, I could still see it being likely to lean for Gore. I'll give it to him likely. I could definitely see that one getting a little closer because of Powell's, like I said, broad support. Um, Minnesota up here, I think, was only won by a couple of points. By Gore, I think it was only two points, and because of that, I can see Powell flipping this too, and a lean to tilt margin, because I think he did great in, he did pretty good in the rural areas, and even do great in Minneapolis. Like I said, having the suburban urban appeal, being a military general, I think he would have done great in a place like Minneapolis and flipped the state. Uh, Indiana, I think, would have been pretty safe to likely form. Same with Kentucky. Like I said, he was pro-choice, so I don't think he'd do as great as Bush in the South, but because of it being the South being a Republican stronghold now, since it's here in 2000, I think Powell would still win Kentucky pretty likely. Indiana, too, maybe. Uh, Tennessee was Gore's home state, however. And I think Bush only won about three points. I can maybe actually see Tennessee flip in this scenario because of uh, Powell's pro-choice views. I think I turn off a lot of rural voters in the state. Like I say, Powell doing great in the cities, but I think uh, because that rural vote would dip for Powell because of his pro choice views would come back to haunt him. I could actually say Gore went in Tennessee in like a lean margin. Uh, maybe you disagree. And like I said, I could say maybe going either way, but I just think uh, Powell being pro choice to turn off a lot of rural voters. Although I could actually say I'm picking maybe like a more conservative vice president because it would definitely help him better in the South. But I'm not really sure who that would have been, who he would have picked. But I just think his pro-choice views would have turned off voters in the South. Uh, I'm not sure what his stance on the death penalty would have been. But things like that, I could see it flipping to Gore because of his rural appeal in the state and being his home state. Uh, I think uh, Powell will still take Alabama, though, and a pretty safe margin. Same with Mississippi. I see that being likely to safe because Powell could do pretty well with the black vote and Mississippi, so I see that being pretty safe for him still. Uh, South Carolina, I think, is going to be pretty likely. Gore would have a southern appeal, and but I think uh, since South Carolina has been a Republican stronghold, that Powell still will win it because of the rural areas and doing pretty well in like the black areas of the state, Charleston, places like that. Uh, West Virginia, I think, would have been pretty likely for Powell because Gore did run on environmentalism. Put more regulations on that, so that turned off a lot of voters in the state. 
because of the coal industry there. So I think Powell would win in a pretty likely margin. Uh, I think it went Virginia pretty safe, actually. I think uh, Bush won about a pretty likely margin. And there is a lot, there was, Virginia was more of a military state back then, so that would definitely help Powell being a military man himself. And Bush won about eight points, so that's why I could say actually being safe for Powell in this scenario. I think he regressed in the rural areas, but I think his performance, like in the Nova suburbs and around Virginia Beach, around Norfolk, where there's a military base, I think would have been enough so to make a safe, probably about 12, 15 points maybe for Powell. So I say that actually been safe for him because of his military background. Uh, Arizona here, I think, would be pretty likely for him. That wasn't really contested. I think it was like six points or so that Bush won about. But I think it would be pretty likely for Powell being a Republican state back then. Um, getting into more of the South here, I think Arkansas, I think it was a pretty likely margin that Bush won about or lean. Because it was Clinton's home state, but Gore couldn't win it because Bush did better in rural areas and Bush being more uh, pro life and for the death penalty helped him in the state. It was only about five points. So I could see, I could see maybe Gore winning it because of Powell's pro choice views, but I think because of his military background, maybe doing good in places that Gore did in, did good in, like in this area around here. I think uh, Powell could still win it, but I think it would have been a close one, maybe a tilt margin. Like I say, that one going either way, honestly. I think Louisiana would have been pretty likely for him. He would have done pretty well with the black boot, but regressed some in the rural areas. But I think uh, he would still win a lot of them, and it would have been enough for him to win the state. Because like I said, maybe in this scenario, he would have picked more like a more conservative running mate. That would have helped him in the South, at least win most of the state still. Uh, Missouri, I think, was a pretty close one. Uh, of course, they Bush, Bush did well in rural areas. That gave him the win. It was a state actually won by Clinton. Uh, it was just 3%, though, so maybe it would still go Powell, but I think it would have been a tilt margin. I think it still would have been definitely a close one. But uh, I'll give it to Powell. Doing pretty well, I think, in the cities and the state. More... Definitely more model voters who would have that bipartisan appeal, as I keep mentioning. Uh, Colorado here, I think, would have been pretty likely for Powell. I think it would have done well around the Denver suburbs and Colorado Springs. I think it would have that appeal there to give them the state in a likely margin as it was for Bush, I believe. Uh, New Mexico was won by Gore. It was a very tight state, though. I think it was only 300 or so votes that separated Bush and Gore. But with Powell, uh, I could say I'm winning it because of his appeal in the suburbs and the state. Uh, I think it could do pretty decent with the Hispanic vote. So I give that to him in a tilt margin. Maybe it would win it like a Bush of four margin or a little better because of a suburban appeal. But uh, I'm actually going to look at it real quick. See where uh, each candidate did the best in exactly. So as you see, where they go, like in Santa Fe and places like that, well, Bush did better in these areas. As you see here. But I could definitely say uh, Powell improving his vote in like maybe these places right here that Bush lost and do pretty well through here maybe in these kind of counties. And I think it would have been enough for Powell to win because of his military background. He would have definitely presented himself as a strong uh, leader and a lot of integrity. And after the scandals from Clinton, the Lewinsky scandal and things like that, I think a lot of I think uh, Powell would have resonated with a lot of voters, like I said, being a military man and running on integrity after the Clinton scandals, I think would have resonated well in a lot of these states. Uh, New York up here, I think, would have been still pretty safe for Gore because of New York City. Uh, same with Vermont. Uh, 
I think Maine's first have been pretty solid for Gore, maybe in a likely margin. I think the second district is only won by a couple of points, though, so maybe I could say Powell flipping that, but I'm not really too sure on this one, but I think it could because of how close it was. I just think it's a bipartisan appeal. It would, um, I think it would have done definitely well with independence in this state and won it. At least the second district uh, at large, though. I checked that margin. So that large margin was 49.43. So that's at least what? One, two. That's at least by five, six points or so. Uh, like I said, I could, uh, Maine is definitely more of an independent type minus state as they have elected independents like Susan Collins. Uh, technically, she's a Republican, but she definitely has her uh, independent appeal. And But they have elected people like Angus King, who is an independent. So that's why I could say Powell definitely doing well in the state because of the independent vote. And I think it would actually win it at large in a tilt margin. Uh, I think a, a Bush did win New Hampshire, and I can see Powell definitely having the appeal being moderate on social issues. And I think for that reason, he would win in maybe a lean margin since Gore didn't win it against Bush. Uh, I think Gore still would have taken Massachusetts pretty solidly, though, as well as Rhode Island. Connecticut, I think, would have gone for him. New Jersey as well. But I could definitely see some of the states getting a little closer, like maybe Connecticut and New Jersey, but... I think that's sort of pretty safe for Gore since it was against Bush, as well as Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Um, North Carolina here, I think, would have been pretty solid for Powell. Like I say, he got a little closer because of his pro-choice views and things like that. But I think Powell would have done really well around the triangle and like Charlotte and Raleigh because of the black boot, which would have still gave him the state an unlikely margin, in my opinion. Uh, Nevada over here was won by Bush. He did well in Washoe County. and did pretty well in Clark County, even though we're still won it. and did well in the rural areas as well. And I can say Powell definitely doing good in Clark County because of that working class and Hispanic support. So I think Powell would still take a Nevada and a lean to tilt margin because of that suburban appeal he would have had. Uh, Iowa was a state won by Gore. It was very narrow, though. He had his rural appeal. Like I said, it was definitely a narrow state. And let's go to it now. So as you see there, it was definitely a close one, 0.32%. Uh, as you see there, John Hagelin, who ran as a third party, did pretty well in the state as this was his home state, doing good in Jefferson County. So that probably took away some vote. But it was definitely still a close one. And, of course, Ralph Nader took away a couple percentage point of votes. But Gore was able to still win it because of doing well in these areas. But I think Powell would have done pretty great in the areas that Gore did in because, like I said, his bipartisan and military background that he would have had. So I think Powell would have taken this on a tilt margin. Uh, so, uh, Bush also in Ohio, I think that would have been pretty lean for Powell because I think it would have done pretty well in working class areas like the north uh, eastern part area that Gore did well in and Democrats did well in back then. I think it would have done pretty well up here too, like around Columbus. I think it would have done well in places like that. It would have been a lean margin for him. Uh, Wisconsin here, I think, uh, was Wisconsin and Michigan were definitely close in 2000. I think uh, Michigan wasn't as close, but I believe Wisconsin was definitely a close one. I know it was in 04. And I'd say here it was in 2000 as well, 0.22%, 5,000 votes. Uh, I could definitely see Powell improving here in these areas. Like Gore won, and I could see him doing well, pretty well, like in Detroit, where the black boot would be. Or, excuse me, Milwaukee. I'm thinking of Michigan. But, yeah, places like Milwaukee, and I think it would have improved in these areas. And I think it would have been enough to flip the state to them in a tilt margin. 
because of that. And Michigan, which was won by Gore. Uh, that was actually about 5%, so that wasn't as close, but I think Powell could have been the one to flip it, definitely. Because of his appeal. And like uh, like I say in Detroit, and I think it could have done pretty well in the Upper Peninsula. Working class appeal, because like I said, his military background, I think would have gone over very well. So we'll give it to him in a tilt margin. Uh, Pennsylvania was another state won by Gore, but I think that was pretty close as well. So this one was a four-point margin. Of course, Gore did well in these uh, southwestern areas. That was more of a Democratic stronghold back then and did pretty well in the suburbs, Erie County. Uh, I think uh, Powell would have possibly flipped Erie County and done improved in these areas that Bush lost, and I think Powell would have done well in the Philly suburbs, and I think it would have been enough for him to possibly win it in another tilt margin like Wisconsin and Michigan. Like I said, I definitely just see Powell having great uh, broad appeal because of his military background, as I keep saying, so that's why I'm giving a lot of these states to him because of the uh, – Yeah, like I was saying, I definitely see that broad appeal helping them in a lot of these states, working class areas, suburban areas. But uh, moving on to the last two states, Georgia and Florida, uh, both won by Bush. I think Georgia was a pretty likely to save margin that Bush won about. Like I could say uh, Powell do, definitely doing well around Atlanta and still winning quite a lot of the rural areas, but I say or doing better in rural areas because of uh, Powell's more liberal stances. I definitely say Powell doing well around Atlanta with the black boot. And as you see, uh, Georgia is at least about 11 to 12 points, so I think it would have been pretty likely for Powell because they're doing pretty well around Atlanta. But I definitely say Gore doing a little better in rural areas. I think that's uh, urban, more suburban vote would have been enough for Powell winning a likely margin. And so when in most rural areas, uh, Georgia, or excuse me, Florida, I just said Georgia, uh, Florida was another tight state. Of course, it was a controversial one, those end of the Supreme Court. Of course, they Bush did pretty well in the panhandle. They also did well in places like Jacksonville and Tampa, and especially in 2004, they did good in those places of uh, Gore, however, won Palm Beach County, as you see there. Uh, I could definitely say Gore doing a little better in the panhandle, but I think Powell still won it pretty solid being a Republican stronghold. I think Powell would have done pretty well around Jacksonville and Tampa like Bush did in Central Florida. And I could definitely see him doing pretty well even in Southern Florida around Miami-Dade. I think Gore probably still would have won Miami-Dade, but I could say Powell cutting the margin down some. And I think it would have been enough for Powell to win on a lean margin. But I could definitely say this one going either way, but I just think uh, Powell's pretty good performance, like I said, in Central Florida and would have been enough around the Jacksonville and Tampa areas, Tampa Bay, and still would have done okay in the panhandle. But I think Central Florida would have handed him the victory. And there is Powell, the winner, Went in 355, so kind of like a landslide, almost close to a 2008 margin in the Electoral College, and Gore gets 182. So this scenario might kind of surprise you because of how much Powell won about, according to this prediction, but uh, as, I, as I've explained throughout the video, he definitely has military background and had his bipartisan appeal, as I've talked about in this article here. And that's why I gave him this big of a victory. Because like I said, it says here, if he had ran against Clinton, he would have won it pretty decisively. And that's why I gave him this pretty big margin in this scenario against Gore if he ran in 2000. Because it was military background. And like I said, I think it would have ran on integrity. And after the Clinton scandals, then it would have helped him. 
So this is kind of see how it's going. Maybe he wouldn't do this uh, big of a win, but I think he still would have won because of, like I said, running on his military background and integrity after the Clinton administration. So maybe Gore could do a little better than this, but I kind of see it being close to this uh, margin in the Electoral College because of Powell's appeal in suburban areas. And like I said, his bipartisan appeal, I think, would have been enough. But if you agree or not, just comment below. Uh, thank you for watching. This definitely was a long one, but I definitely had to explain why I predicted it this way, so that's what made it longer. And definitely had to look at a lot of the margins and make these calls. Like I said, thank you for watching. Uh, comment below what you think of this, whether you agree or not, if Bell would have won this big or if it would have been a little closer. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.